Mm. 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 Ain't this some shit? So, Steven Espinoza, president of Showtime Sports, he's arguing with some cat on Twitter, you know, about the negotiations between Mayweather and Pacquiao. And he issues two tweets to this guy. But before we get into that, let's let's do a tally real quick. So basically what I want to do is I want to go through the the negotiations that have happened between the two fighters and who's at fault. And we're going to do a tally. Now, the first negotiation, the first time this fight had ever happened, right, was ever talked about. Mayweather said, Pacquiao, you got to take a drug test. Now, me personally, I don't see nothing wrong with that. It was fucking questionable the shit Pacquiao was doing. Very fucking questionable. I'm not going to get into that, but it's very questionable, okay? But for the sake of the fans, the fans wanted to see this fight, and Mayweather stopped that by saying, you got to take a blood test. That's an L for Mayweather fans. That's a win for Pacquiao fans, okay? Then Pacquiao turns around and says, no, I'm scared of needles. I drew blood before the Eric Morales loss, and it messed up my, my stamina. I was queasy and, and weary and all that bullshit. That's an L for Pacquiao fans. That's a win for Mayweather fans. So basically, you telling me you got your ass whooped to Eric Morales because you drew blood. Come on, man. Come on, man. And you got tattoos. How you scared of needles, bro? That's a, that's an L for Pacquiao fans. Tally's one for one. Okay? Now, after that, Mayweather offers Pacquiao $40 million. Pacquiao replies by handing the phone over to his advisor, Michael Kant. That's a motherfucking L for Pacquiao fans. That's a win for Mayweather fans. $40 million is like fucking almost 10 times more money than Pacquiao has ever seen for any fight in his life, dude. Now, I understand, you know, he, he was doing good at that time. He felt like he was the A-side, but Mayweather was more dominant in this era than he was. $40 million. And he passed on that. That's an L for Pacquiao fans. Then after that, Bob Arum says, after Mayweather is clamoring for the Pacquiao fight, uh, after he beat Miguel Cotto and before he has to go to jail, Bob Arum says, oh, that fight can't happen right now because due to the interests of the fans, we got to build a whole new stadium on the Las Vegas Strip. And that stadium probably won't be done until, mm, coincidentally, when Mayweather's got to go to jail. That's an L for Pacquiao fans. That's a fucking win for Mayweather fans. So if this venue, this phantom venue, was supposed to be built on the Las Vegas Strip, right? Well, where the hell is that venue? Where is it at? I don't live in Vegas, but I do follow boxing news all day, every motherfucking day. And a new venue being built is boxing news. A whole bunch of websites would have covered that. There ain't no such thing because he was bullshitting. That's an L for Pacquiao fans. The tally is three to one. So after that, Mayweather states when Pacquiao is is saying Mayweather's name all up inside the media after he's after well before he beats Timothy Bradley in the rematch and then afterwards he's talking a lot of shit about Mayweather. Well Mayweather states, well Pacquiao's gonna have to sign with Mayweather Promotions. You know damn well this motherfucker ain't signing with no Mayweather promotions. That's a L for Mayweather fans. So it's kinda like See, I agree with something. Shout out to Ego. I, I totally agree with what he said about Mayweather. He says that Mayweather has a hard time defending himself in the media. And this is a, a clear case of that. Why the hell would you say some stupid shit like that, knowing damn well Pacquiao ain't going to sign with no damn Mayweather promotions in order to fight you? He's 100% loyal to Bob Arum. Rain, sleet, snow, motherfucking tornado, hurricane, sun. This dude is loyal to Bob Arum. He ain't signing with no Mayweather promotions. 
And he knows that, but he says this shit outwardly in the media. That's an L for Mayweather fans. And then lastly, we come to this. So on the left side is a tweet, the first tweet that Steven Espinoza uh, put out in an argument with this Wang Po cum cat. And then the second, the one on the right is the second tweet that he put out, the follow-up tweet. So basically, Showtime Sports offered Bob Arum $40 million, a minimum of $40 million with the 30% of the upside. And Bob Arum says no. Now, notice it says $40 million minimum, which means that Steven Espinoza is opening negotiations. Minimum just means that's the least amount I'll offer you. That's the fucking least amount I'll offer you. I'm open to more negotiation. Of course, he's going to cap it somewhere, but it could be more than that based on if Bob Arum showed any interest, right? I did the math for y'all. Let's say the upside was $200 million. That's what a lot of people think this fight would do, something like $200 million, right? 35% of 200 million is 70 million dollars plus the 40 million dollar minimum which could be more but we'll take the minimum plus the 40 million dollar minimum that's 110 million dollars that Bob Arum passed up on hmm don't that smell like some bullshit that's a motherfucking L for Pacquiao fans and the reason why I say that is because Bob Arum represents Manny Pacquiao. So I'm pretty sure Manny Pacquiao knew about this. I mean, Manny Pacquiao's been coming out saying negotiations are fierce. Mayweather shot that down and said, no, ain't, ain't no negotiations going on. That's some bullshit. But at the same time, Mayweather is saying that he has some type of surprise coming up in May. Okay? We don't know what it is. But we know that Pacquiao's saying, Pacquiao and Bob Arum are saying negotiations are fierce. Steven Espinoza puts this tweet out, which indicates that there have been some type of negotiation. And then Mayweather said there might be a surprise in May. Okay, I'm just putting two and two together. All right. But see, the problem here that 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 I have and why I'm so easy to it's so easy for me to understand that this is a duck for Pacquiao. Remember, Pacquiao and Freddie Roach are stating that they're going to campaign at 140 pounds after the Chris Algieri fight. And Freddie Roach is adamant about this shit. I mean, he's saying it all over the place. The dude is dude is leaking the info. You know what I'm saying? He's leaking it. You can be like, yo, Freddie Roach, he'll automatically be like, yeah, we're campaigning 140 pounds. You ain't even got to, he, he, you ain't even ask him that. He'll just say it to you. That's how much he's leaking the info. So if you fucking campaigning, at, if you plan on campaigning at 140 pounds after your next fight, November 22nd, how the fuck you in negotiations with the reigning champion at 147 pounds who has no, uh, he has no plans to go back down to 140 in Mayweather. Mayweather has never said nothing about going back down to 140. Frankly, I don't see why he would go down to 140. He's dominating at 147. What the fuck would he go down to 140 for? And that's another thing. Mayweather is what he says is the A side. People are going after him. He's not going after nobody. He is the jackpot in boxing. Okay? Why the fuck does... Why would he follow Manny Pacquiao to 140? They know this. Pacquiao and Bob Arum know this. Freddie Roach knows this. They all know this. But Freddie Roach and Pacquiao are still putting out in the media that they're campaigning at 140. It's utter bullshit, yo. That's why I'm able to believe this fucking tweet. I'm able to believe it. Who the fuck is ducking who? I rest my case. One.